The fourth leg of the SCCA Trans Am Series continued at Belle Isle with the top five qualifiers inverted, giving Brian Till the pull. But it was outside front row man Craig Pickett taking the early lead. Early drama came on lap 11 when Tony Abe spun. As leader Pickett came through, he clipped the front of the Camaro. Abe was done, but Pickett raced on with minor nose damage. Starting from seventh, Dorsey Schrader managed some passing on a track where you shouldn't, and on lap 31 executed by taking third from Bryce Cobb. The effects of his Lime Rock crash weren't slowing Ron Fellows as he pressured leader Pickett. With 14 laps to go, he took advantage of the long straightaway and took the top spot. Just in front of the leaders with four laps remaining, Tim McAdam brought out the caution when he slammed hard into the wall. That set up a last lap dash with Fellows showing the way. Third place Schrader tried to get by Pickett for second, but ran out of time as Fellows took back-to-back -back wins on Belle Isle. And with his fourth place finish, Tom Kendall stays on top of the points. For Speed Week, I'm Chris McClure.